Hi there. Today, I want to talk all about internal communications. You know, when you have your own practice, one of the most, uh, I guess, valuable parts is having that freedom and joy to be able to, you know, uh, have the flexibility to be able to run your own game. However, the biggest challenge is, is that it comes with responsibility and it comes with being able to make sure that you are keeping your team high performing, that you're helping them stay connected and to be able to help you in being able to grow your practice. You know, one of the things we find when you're starting your own practice is quite often you're bringing in support. They may not be working with you full time and it's really easy to kind of think, oh, well, I'm just their client and, you know, they'll just... um sort of fit in with what I need to do and that's fine. Um, however, as you grow, you are creating a culture as you start to bring perhaps some of those team members on that are, are working for you either full-time or part-time. And we have a responsibility to make sure that they're achieving their potential because at the end of the day, if they're not achieving their potential, then you won't be able to achieve yours or you're going to be going through staff and being able and having to recruit and and um, go through that churn. So what we do know is that if you look at Matthew Lieberman's work in his book Social, he talks about um, uh, that Maslow's hierarchy of needs, you know, previously it was around those safety needs and those types of things and building up to self-actualization. And he said he actually got it wrong. He said the most fundamental need that people have is a need to feel like they belong is they need to feel like they connect and they feel like that they connect to um, to some kind of meaning and purpose. And even Brene Brown, where she says that um, connection is the reason why we're here. It creates connection, meaning and purpose. And so for us, it's easy to get caught up in our expertise. I've just got to go do this. But when you're really in your practice, you're really stepping into optimal as an optimal space for you as a leader. So your job is to create that culture where you feel where people feel connected, even though they may be in the gig economy, even though they may you may only be working with them part time, is that if you want to retain a really great team around you, it even if they're offshore, you might be thinking, oh well they're offshore, they're not even here. But you know what? This these people are still really valuable and your job is to make sure they feel like they belong and connect. Um, so uh, if I think about, uh, you know, even there's a professor, Professor Alex Haslam at the University of Queensland here in Brisbane, he says that loneliness is the biggest social issue that will be for at least the, the next few years because people are by themselves, they're not working within groups, they're not necessarily face to face, particularly because so many people have gone um, from moving from working in face to face environments to working from home. So my encouragement to you is to really be mindful because yes, your internal comms, your systems, your processes, all those things that you're implementing, not just about executing the work, but being able to keep your team connected so you can all achieve your potential.